Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, depending on, you know, where you are in the world. This is Gloria White coming to you from Utah, USA. First, let me apologize for not putting up videos, but I got this new phone and it was terrible. So I'm arranging to send it back and I'm back on my old phone. <laughs> so here we are back in the book of Proverbs in the Old Testament in the King James Version of the Holy Bible, chapter 28 with Annie Dog. <laughs> Annie Dog, she's a good girl. And more bits and pieces of wisdom from Solomon. Chapter 28. The wicked flee when no man pursueth, but the righteous are as bold as a lion. For the transgression of a land, many are the princes thereof. But by a man of understanding and knowledge, the state thereof shall be prolonged. Verse 3. A poor man that oppresses the poor is like a sweeping rain, which leaveth no food. Verse 4. They that forsake the law praise the wicked, but such as keep the law contend with them. And we are certainly doing that now, aren't we? Verse 5. Evil men understand not judgment or justice. But they that seek the Lord understand all things. Verse 6. Better is the poor that walketh in his uprightness than he that is perverse in his ways, though he be rich. Verse 7. Whoso keepeth the law is a wise son, but he that is companion of a riotous men Oh, is a companion of, a, of riotous men, shameth his father. And when it says riotous, it means gluttons. Mm. Verse 8. He that by usury and unjust gain increases his substance, he shall gather it for him that will pity the poor. Let me read that one again. I didn't quite get it. He that by usury and unjust gain, and unjust gain is extortion, increaseth his substance or his possessions. He shall gather it for him that will pity the poor. Verse 9. He that turneth away his ear from hearing the law, even his prayer shall be abomination. Ooh, he that turneth away his ear from hearing the law, even his prayer shall be abomination. Verse 10. Whoso causeth the righteous to go astray in an evil way, he shall fall himself into his own pit, but the upright shall have good things in possession. Verse 11. The rich man is wise in his own conceit, or his own eyes. But the poor that hath understanding searcheth him out. Verse 12. When righteous men do rejoice, there is great glory. But when the wicked rise, a man is hidden. And hidden means will be sought. Verse 13. He that covereth his sins shall not prosper. But whoso confesseth and forsaketh them shall have mercy. Oh, wow. Remember, ask for forgiveness of your sins and forgive those that trespassed against you. For the Father in, who is in heaven sees these things. Verse 14, happy is the man that feareth always, but he that hardeneth his heart shall fall into mischief or calamity. Verse 15, as a roaring lion and a raging bear, so is a wicked ruler over the poor people. 
uh, a rag, ringing, ringing bear is a charging bear. Verse 16. The prince that wanteth understanding is also a great oppressor, but he that hateth covetousness shall prolong his days. The prince that wanteth or lacks understanding is also a great oppressor, but he that hateth covetousness shall prolong his days. Verse 17. A man that doeth violence to the blood of any person shall flee to the pit, or is burdened with bloodshed shall flee to the pit. Let no man stay or help him. Verse 18. Whoso walketh uprightly shall be saved or delivered, but he that is perverse in his ways shall fall at once. Verse 19. He that tilleth his land shall have plenty of bread, but he that followeth after vain persons or uh, empty things or frivolous things shall have poverty enough. Verse 20. A faithful man shall abound with blessings, but he that maketh haste to be rich shall not be innocent or go unpunished. Verse 21, to have respect of persons is not good, or show partiality, regard faces. For, for a piece of bread, that man will transgress. God is no respecter of persons. doesn't matter what your color or, or, or your, your social status or your financial situation or your level of power in government, or even in a community, or even within your family. It does not matter. God is no respecter of persons, and he judges each person by his rules and standards, which he has laid out for us. Verse 22. Yeah, he that hastes to be rich hath an evil eye, and considereth not that poverty shall come upon him. Verse 23. He that rebuketh a man afterwards shall find more favor than he that flattereth with the tongue. Verse 24. Whoso robbeth his father or his mother and saith, It is no transgression. The same is the companion of a destroyer. We know who the destroyer is, the abomination of desolation. Verse 25, he that is of a proud heart stirreth up strife, but he that putteth his trust in the Lord shall be made fat or prospered. Verse 26, he that trusteth in his own heart is a fool, but whoso walketh wisely he shall be delivered. Verse 27. He that giveth unto the poor shall not lack, but he that hideth his eyes shall have many a curse. Verse 28 and the final verse in chapter 28. When the wicked rise, men hide themselves, but when they perish, the righteous increase. <laughs> and may the king continue to increase <laughs> day after day, hour after hour, week after week, month after month, year after year. May the righteous increase. Amen. And as always, I love you.